Hi everyone, I'm Miss Katie from Rockland Public Library and welcome to another Spotlight on Spooky. This week I'm going to be talking about two books from the nonfiction section that are for elementary and middle grade students. And, oops, help if it's upside down, it's not upside down. This week I'm recommending reading Monstrous and the Ghost Hunter's Handbook. So I'll start off by telling you about Monstrous. Monstrous is called The Lore, Gore, and Science Behind Your Favorite Monsters by Carolyn Bakia. So this book is one I just found this season, and each section starts off with the history of the oral stories behind these seven monsters we have here. Then it moves on to the books that we had and the movies that we've made that have made these characters into what they are, as, as well as the historical stories or evidence that might be tied into those stories. We have a little bit of a real life wolf man. We have wolf man right here. We have our werewolf, a real life wolf man who did get married to a lady in waiting that they believe is the origins of the Beauty and the Beast story. We have all kinds of fun facts about these seven. So we have Frankenstein, Godzilla, King Kong, the Kraken, werewolves, vampires, and zombies. And each section also has my favorite part, which is crazy weird science mixed with hypotheticals. So we have lots of fun facts, like how much would King Kong need to eat in order to survive? Or what are the best veins and arteries for a vampire to eat from? And also, which are the easiest to defend yourself if you're ever attacked by a vampire? We have some fun stats in here. We, uh, including, let's see, there is a map on what states would be the easiest to take over by a zombie horde. We have all kinds of fun <laughs> science Science backed up crazy facts and hypotheticals and lists all in this wonderful book here. Each one with a different section on different monsters and the history and science tied into them. So this is a great read for the spooky season. I hope you enjoy it. Now, my second one is... The Ghost Hunter's Handbook, Supernatural Exploration for Kids by Liza Gardner-Walsh. Now, if you've read Liza Gardner-Walsh's other handbooks, you'll know that this is very different from her. She has two different fairy handbooks. This is very different from that. This is our Ghost Hunter's Handbook. And this one tells us all about also the, the history and early ghost stories that have been passed down I think all the way back to like 40 AD, she has, or the beginning of some of these stories. And it tells you vocabulary to do with different spooky presents. And there are, uh, it talks about the famous buildings in New England that are haunted and a group of real life ghost hunters that lives in the area. And it also has your own guide. So there are uh, questionnaires for figuring out if your house or your library is the perfect place to start a ghost hunt. And also the list of questions to ask and how to interact with your ghosts. It has all kinds of fun lists and facts and history tied into this ghost hunter. So this one is perfect for any aspiring ghost hunter for the spooky season. And this one is a great one to go. <laughs> it's a great book to go along with anyone who's going to be getting into monsters and also some families that are starting out with some of the classics because it ties in some facts about classics in there as well. So these are great nonfiction elementary and middle grade reads. I hope you enjoy them and have a wonderful spooky season. Bye-bye.